Sådan er skide godt. Hey guys, it's another sunny Sunday, and I present you a game of threes. It's a game uh, from the website Games for Queers. The link is in the description. It's for free. And because it's a queer game, I thought, well, that have to be on my channel. So, here it is. It's my first gaming ever. So, yeah. Let's get started. Well, first of all, um, a storm is coming. So, I hope it will not hit my notebook and I bought some Frisco it's a beer juice mix from the Czech Republic I'm gonna drink it it smells really good it's really good I like that drink mm. so Nazdravi Let's start this thing. Before the game says, would you like your character to be more masculine or more feminine? Your masculine character will have short hair and blockier clothing. Clothing, whereas a more feminine character have longer hair and softer clothing. Eh, uh, what? Should I do? Well, I'm I'm a woman, so feminine. Okay, feminine it is. What's your name? What's our name? Well, we I think we're Ellen. Hey Ellen, it's good that you're here. After all, this is your story. So this is a story of uh, Ellen. A very gay name. Yeah, that's why I choose it. It's time to be... To, of, it's time for the beginning of a new school year soon, castles will begin, but today it's move-in day for all dormitory residents. This year you're living in a four-person dormitory. It comes with a kitchen and personal bedrooms for everyone. We. Oui. However, you haven't met any of your roommates yet. Actually, you don't even, even let them know of their names. It's going to be an interesting year. So yeah, it's a... Uh, you see it? It's a story. Well, we will see pictures. But it's an interactive story. And uh, we're queer, pretty much. And so, so like, real life and stuff. And it's for free, as I said. You should check it out. I have no idea what's this about but yeah it's queer so it's cool oh these boxes are heavy next year i'm picking less stuff i guess it better start i better start getting stuff into my room instead of just sitting here in the middle of hey you must be our new roommate wow that's ah oh, that's what we think how we how i should it should do it so that i think that well, whoa, that's a lot of makeup and some crazy hair. At least he looks pretty friendly. It's, it's a he? Uh, yeah, hey. My name is Jesse. Do you need, do you need, do you need some help with these, with those boxes? I've got it. Grinning, Jesse laces up a pair of boots with huge platforms, then waves and says he has to go to the grocery store. I don't I don't know. I, I don't wanna be transphobic or something, but I really don't know how she came up that it's a boy because I would I wouldn't know. I would call them there or they and or ask but uh, I wouldn't it wouldn't be the first thing popping in my mind when I would see him, like, well, it's totally a guy and he identifi identificates as a male. 
It's really not the first thing I would think. But yeah. Let's go to the closet for the last time. It takes another hour to get your stuff in your room. Super. Well, since I'm done getting stuff into my room, I may as well take a break and meet some of my other roommates. Which door should I knock on first? Just see certain... Wait, just... Yeah, knock at your room. Okay, I will knock at my room because I will see what the hell happens. I'm not tired yet. Okay. Door two. You knock on the door and wait for someone to answer. What do you want? There is one big cup of coffee. It looks as if she hasn't slept in days. Maybe I shouldn't bother her. A little too much? Uh, nothing. Hi, I'm in a room. I'm in a roommate, sweetheart. Hey, I'm in a roommate. It's uh, uh, nice to meet you. Hey, I'm Jan, and I'm really busy, so please go away. Leave her alone. Yeah. Door three. You knock on the door and wait for someone's answer. Nothing. Nothing. More nothing. Maybe the one is home. Um, Jesse's door. Isn't he grocery shopping? Pick a different door. My room. Well, yes, we go to sleep. The sun has started to set and you call it pretty late? In the middle of the night you hear something which sounds like the front op door opening. Follow it by some voices. Reaching out, you feel around for your phone and squint at the screen which says for in big letters. Why aren't there people moving around at four in the morning? Morning? You call it morning? That's just night. Well, you decide to get up and check it out. I, I wouldn't do that. You head out into the main room of the dormitory. Jesse is standing in the kitchen talking to someone you don't recognize. I mean, the prince is completely ridiculous. The price. The price is completely ridiculous. I think the worst part is probably that it's written by the prof with a rip-off. If this class wasn't required, there's no way that I would be taking it. Yeah. At least I've got cool roommates like you. There must be the person living in the room free. You clear your throat. <coughs> oh hey, Parker, this is the new roommate I was telling you about. Sorry, they're a bit shy. Okay, that's a they and that's a he and I felt good, but I still don't know why Ellen thought it's a he at the first time because it could really be a they. It's confusing. That's fine. It's totally fine, I get it. Being shy can be buff. So what are you both doing up at this hour? She, is it just me or did she change? Like, really? <laughs> She she just woke up in four in the morning and just changed in her clothes and just had have, have some have some, you know, coat in her arm and Oh she sleeps like this. That's another possibility. So what are you both doing up at this hour? This amount of hotness takes time and work. I'm just getting ready for the day. At four in the morning, despite his straightened hair, perfect makeup, and millions of accessories, I can't help but wonder what kind of morning routine he has. I just got home. I'm kind of a night owl. Bro fist, bro. That 
it's basically me in red hair and uh, with no gender or well with the genders there's night owl and then there's is a maniac anyone who's up at four in the morning falls into the latter category in my book I hate them. I hate her. She is. She's pretty much. I don't know. I don't like her. Since I was up anyway, I decided to say good morning before Parker went to bed. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Go back to bed because. I don't know, I wouldn't, you know, talk like this. At 8, your alarm clock goes off and you get out of bed. You get dressed and brush your hair, then you notice. Something smells like bacon. It occurs to you that the smells may be bacon, so you... So you go into the kitchen. She's cooking. Hey, and pass me sugar. This is drinking drinking tea there's a large pot of coffee sitting in the coffee ma maker and a cup sits beside Jan's arm talk to both talk on to Jesse talk on to Yun get food and leave talk to both good morning you two hey how it how's it going hey the two of them fall into silence while you get yourself something to eat is there any tea left? I have some coffee. Coffee for a win. Nyan seems to consider this for a moment. I guess that's okay. You pour yourself a cup of coffee and sit down to eat breakfast. The three of you chat about school. Jesse complains more about textbook prizes. Nyan doesn't say much, but she seems less tired. She just keeps eyeing your coffee though. What did she put in there? The first day of classes is typically dull. The professor mostly hand out syllabuses and talk about their expectations. Tight and lethargic because of the boredom you were subjected to. You head back to your room and to take a nap. Take a nap. That that's something I would do. Maybe she isn't the worst. Just as you're about to fall asleep, someone knocks at your door. So you deck yourself out of bed and answer, ah, these people. Hey there, Rumi. Hedge, you've got some rough boxes. Want a hand unpacking? It'd be great, Jesse. And Jesse spent the next half an hour or so joking around and unpacking. <laughs> <coughs> so that's all, you losers. If you liked it, you can give a thumb up, subscribe, or watch the video you see right in front of you. Or do nothing, it's up to you. You can also follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, and InstaShit. And if you don't like this video, why the fuck are you still watching it?